Hello everyone and welcome back to another kind of screenshot analysis video. I hope you guys are all having the most wonderful and wonderful days. If you guys are new here, my name is Leaf and I am always like this. It's a curse. Please help me. Anyways, we were revealed two new screenshots over the past day for Planet Zoo and there is so much to take in. Uh, I can already tell some lovely new plants in here, but most importantly, let's check out the Red River Hog. These guys are looking drop dead gorgeous. That beautiful orange hue that absolutely made me fall in love with these guys in the first place. There is so much to be said about this picture. There is so much to be said about these models. And if you can already tell, there is sexual dimorphism in here. In case if you are not aware, sexual dimorphism is essentially the difference between males and females in animal species and it's just very cool to see that happen you can see this in an example with the male warthog not warthog red river hog up in the front of the picture they have this little bump right in front of their eye which is very cool to see them actually go that extra length to add that little bit of detail and they also have a much longer bottom tusk very cool to see that happen. And the female is right back there as well. You can see that she has none of that bump on her nose, uh, but she does still have a tiny little tusk over there. It's very cool to see that. It's very awesome just to be able to take this picture in and actually check out this. Meanwhile, we can see that there are two new plants in here that I can spot. If you see any more, please let me know. But I see one directly in the middle. It looks to be some kind of palm or fern of some kind, a very tall one at that. It's just very cool. Hopefully we can actually use that to make like a lot more denser jungles. Or if you guys are working on greenhouses, that's going to be a lovely plant right in there. And we also have that bromeliad over to the right kind of thing. I'm not really sure what kinds of ferns those are, or bromeliads or whatever. But those leaves have that little end up the top that kind of trails off. Kind of like me and my videos. I'm a leaf that trails off sometimes. But that's just really, really awesome to see. Now, moving on from there, we were also given a picture, just a very beautiful look at the Asian water monitor, and it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we, like, made it this far with the Nile monitor, because this guy is looking stellar. Obviously, you can see that it has all those tiny little scales. Let me know if those are scales or osteoderms, I really don't know, uh, but it's just so beautiful. You can see that they have a little bit of red on the top of the lip, and they have that very iconic, slightly yellow texture kind of going throughout the entire body. It looks incredible. Just a really beautiful animal. I hope they get some really cool swimming animations, because as you guys probably know, they will be able to deep dive. I'm still not sure about climbing, I really hope they do, but I'm like not going to cry or throw fit if they can't climb. It won't be the end of the world, but it would be cool. I wish that could happen. It'd make some really cool mods. Uh, but regardless, these guys are looking absolutely beautiful. Really solid mod. Uh, not mod. <laughs> I keep doing that. A really solid animal over here. And it just looks incredible. No new plants in this picture, I don't think. Uh, I think that's Dringrass over to the left. And then, like, our typical palms all throughout here. But still, it's a beautiful animal. I can't knock it. I'm super happy that we got these guys in the game. Uh, obviously, we gotta take into account the species limit. If you haven't gone to support that thread yet, I would suggest you guys go support it right now. Um, just before this update, hopefully, that they can make a little bit of a change. Um, but I'm not really holding my breath. But please, go support it. Please. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, Planet Zoo has a charity live stream, uh, which will be, uh, when is that? April 4th! Yes! April 4th! Go check out the charity live stream. Planet Zoo does a lot of work with the Chester Zoo, and it's just always awesome to see them just go the extra length to work with zoos. It makes me super happy as, like, someone who loves nature, someone who loves zoos and whatnot. It's just really awesome to be able to see Planet Zoo actually collaborate with these really awesome institutions and just be able to bring so much notoriety and so much ideas just to the community. It's really awesome. Love to see it. But that is really it for today's video. I just want to do a quick little overview, uh, give you guys a little bit of daily content for a little bit. We're kind of in that phase again where I don't have any videos lined up. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview. Uh, kind of talking about, like, you know, some hidden 
hidden plants in here that we'll probably be getting. Regardless, can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days. And yeah, get excited for this pack. I'm seeing a lot of like new excitement for it, especially because of the sloth. So that's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.